Good morning, folks. We've got space weather items to see today. We're doing the Tropics Watch in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, and we've got interesting studies on pre-seismic anomalies and on electromagnetic climate. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and once again, not much in the way of solar flaring. After the uptick earlier this month, the sun has descended into a calmer state with only C-class flares and filaments that have not erupted in Earth's direction. You might recall we had a minor coronal hole stream interaction begin a few days ago, but that is beginning to end as well. It came on slowly, was moderate and stable, and didn't cause any relevant geomagnetic activity. We've had a bit of a surge of activity near the limbs, including a very interesting synchronized eruptive event off the incoming sector. Two disconnected active regions had an impressive simultaneous plasma outburst event. We'll be watching those regions as they'll be turning in to face the Earth in the coming days. Let's go next to the tropics. It's quite the crowded scene in the Atlantic Basin, with watches already being issued for Harold and Franklin. Southern Texas on call here in the coming days, while the Dominican Republic is on watch as well. Afterwards, that system has a good chance to further intensify into a hurricane north of the islands. Good paper here on a pre-seismic anomaly detection method that includes geomagnetic field activity that is performing better than other similar systems already being developed. We've been waiting years for the hundreds of papers on pre-earthquake signals to manifest into real-world warning systems, and hopefully this is a promising pathway to that end goal. Last but not least, a good one here on the global electric circuit and climate. They start out by describing the integration both ways of the circuit and the weather, and then they hit the space forcing of the circuit by the sun and cosmic rays. This is one of the most critically underappreciated aspects of solar forcing of the Earth's atmosphere, with it being completely absent in the official climate models, despite there being over a hundred studies on the impact and influence of space weather. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the Tropics. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.